welcome to another Key Factor Community video. I'm Sven, and through this video, we're going to look at what eGBCA services do and some of my favorite ones that I like to use when I configure eGBCA. Let's get over to the admin web and start off. So in eGBCA web, we see over here the little triangle with the exclamation mark in it for the CRL status, saying our CRL is expired. So an eGBCA service is actually something that we can use and one of them called the CRL update, which we can configure to then update the CRL. That way, when one needs to be renewed, eGBCA will do that. So services are used to accomplish things like updating the CRL, expiring activation codes to enroll or sending an email when a certificate's gonna expire soon. There's one for publishing queue to push that if you're using publishers. So a lot of things like that. So let's hop into some of the ones I like to use here. There it is. All right, we'll click on the services and we'll start with the first one, the CRL update. So we'll type that in, we click add, and then we'll select it and then edit service. So in that top part of the worker, we'll select the CRL updater. In this case, we're just going to select the management CA and then we'll select the sub CA and then we'll carry on down to the interval period and we'll do, what should we do? Let's do every three days. Oh, I mean hours. So we'll do hours. We'll activate the service and then we click save. The next service we'll go and look at is the password expiry. All right. So we click that again, select it and then do edit. And then in the worker, we'll select the user password expire service on the bottom. And then we'll choose the CAs that we're issuing off of. So mainly that one for our sub CA. And then we'll set it to the days we would do. So let's do it to every 14 days. That means our codes are good for 14 days before they'll expire. And if we wanted to, we could have email set up and then do some notifications here to let the user know that it's going to expire. So we have little fields there where you can do the notification. And then we're going to set that to run the interval period of every one day. That way it'll go every day. And then if we click the activate button down there, that means the service will run and then we'll do save. The next service I like to use is the HSM keep alive if I've got a network based HSM attached because HSMs have been notoriously good at, well, actually it's been the firewalls that could close connections between that. So what this service does is it allows you to send a little transaction and that's actually what the test keys for to test the connection to the HSM. So we'll select the HSM worker like we did and we'll just set the period to five minutes and then we'll go ahead and click the activate checkbox here to run the service if we were going to use it. But since I don't have an HSM set up, we'll just leave it as is. All right, and then the next one we could do is a CRL downloader. This is handy if you have, you're using EGBC as a validation authority. That way you can pull CRLs down into eGBCA for when you're using eGBCA with an external CA to do the OCSP. So we'll select the CA that we'd want to use in this case after we select the worker. And then we can go down and set the interval on how often we would run this. And then we can also check the activate box if we were going to do that. And then save. All right, the next one we want to check out is a certificate expiry. So we'll add this one and then we'll edit it. So this service we can set to look at certificates that are expiring from, we can do any CA in this case, and then we'll select the profiles. And actually, let's just narrow it down. We'll narrow it down to the management CA and our sub CA since we've issued certs off those the most. And then we would assert the certificate profile that we want to be notified on. So we'll do the TLS server and our admin ones. And then you set the notification time before it expires. Let's go with 14 days. So you get a two week notice that way. 
And then you can configure emails. We'll set it to run every day. And then we would activate it and then save. So that's a look at some of my favorite services to use. And like I said, we would do publishing queue if I was using that one as well. That's more on the peer side, but now we can hop over and check out the documentation. So on doc.primekey.com and eGBCA, and then type in services here. Do, 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 do. All right, select that one. And then I wanted to show that we've got all of it documented as well on here. So you can go and read about any of the services if you have further questions about how to configure them or what they can do, as well as seeing all of the services that are available in the enterprise version of eGBCA2. So that covers our little overview of using services and some of my favorite services that I like to configure in eGBCA. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments, or you can hop over to Git Factor, bleh, or you can hop over to GitHub Key, Key Factory GBCA Community Edition project and start a discussion over there and ask questions, or come and just have a conversation. All right, guys, thanks, and see you in the next video.